today is our uh, one at home yoga presented by Factor. And we've got two special guests. We've got uh, Emma Kittle and Claire Kittle. They'll be teaching our yoga class uh, this morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hello, everybody. From, we're in Arizona, so hi from Arizona. <laughs> On time. Um, we are super excited to do this. Yoga has been a huge part of our lives um, for a long time. Well, kind of ever since I did my first yoga teacher training and then Claire was playing basketball at Iowa and George was playing football and I forced them to do all my yoga classes because I wanted to work with athletes. Yes, so <laughs> that's exactly how it started. Um, but over quarantine, obviously weird times, but we all quarantined together. And so yoga um, was a really, really big part of us staying really kind and <laughs> loving towards each other. Because um, if you know, so I'm the smallest person in our family and I'm 5'10", 5'11". Claire's an inch taller than me. My mom's an inch taller than me. My dad's 6'3". George is 6'4". George is 6'4". So we're some pretty mass. Oh, and then Claire's brother was with us for a little while and he's 6'7". Yeah. So we're a lot of massive humans in not a massive space. And so yoga and especially restorative <laughs> yoga was fantastic for us to, we would do it almost every morning together. Um, so we didn't beat each other up. Yes. It, it was a really great way to kind of de-stress, but also um, encourage that softer, more yin kind of moon side energy. And so uh, having that experience has obviously been super special. Um, so this practice that we're going to share with you guys today is a restorative practice and it's what i usually do with our it's like the combination of these moves but this is what i like to do so over the summer um i moved to nashville to be george and claire obviously um yoga teacher and like work with the football players and so we all we have a bunch of other nfl guys that come in but a lot of times um you know like a dynamic yoga flow is really great for a warm-up for them but on the back end the thing that they need most is to slow down and breathe and reconnect with their bodies and so i mean football is literally like such a fast-paced sport it's a fast-paced life like i mean one way we're in arizona one day we're in california one yeah. day we're on the net like it's so random and so having a practice that can put you back into your body and help you shut off your mind i think is really really important and so that's and that you can do anywhere and that you can do anywhere so that's what this practice is it's super beginner friendly um and i do bits and pieces of it every morning depending on what i need so super relaxing. Mm -hmm. So if you're just waking up, maybe just let yourself yeah. have a super chill day. Saturday is just a restorative day now. Put your coffee or your tea to the side and you can have it while you do this. Uh -huh. It's great. It's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. So if you're at the post, uh, we're doing a restorative session. So what we're going to be doing is completely up against a wall. So uh, I like to wear socks because my feet get cold. I'm actually going to just be teaching and talking to you guys. So Claire is going to be our practice model. But what you're going to do is take your yoga mat and slide it all the way up against it. And then go ahead and Claire, scoot your hips up to it and then roll up. Yep. So the easiest way to get in without totally like choking yourself is to go from that angle. Yeah. Perfect. Isn't she great? Okay, and the slide over here. We even got a playlist for you. Oh, okay. So a huge part of what we do is connecting your breath to your body. So that's the whole restorative piece of it, right? Because we're trying to heal and take care of ourselves. So what I want you to think about as we're doing this is just put all your stuff aside it's not going anywhere you can set it over off of your mat um but allow yourself yourself to just be here and to really think that we're going to relax because i feel like a lot of times people think yoga and it's like power flow core power and like those are great and they're other moments but right now we're going to focus on really grounding down and letting your muscles relax and release any tension that you're carrying so Claire is in legs at the wall. So this is our first pose. If this is really painful on your back, all you're gonna do is take a little bend through your knees and then hold it right here, okay? And then from there, we're gonna take a slight tuck of the chin, a little double chin action. And then I want you to reach the skull of your head back, feel a little stretch through the back of your neck. If it's pulling on your hair, you don't have to do that. And then if you, you can extend your legs back up. And then just take your hands. I like them either on my belly or off to the side, whatever feels best. But we're gonna be using a four count breath. So every pose, we're going to be doing it for two minutes. Um, but for your four count breath, it's going to be in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, 
three, four, hold, two, three, four. Okay, so when we count our mantra, so we call it a mantra, it's another way of taking your brain and putting it on something else, right? So for me, I'm a super mental person. Like I, can, I overthink everything all the time and it builds up to almost to where it can feel like very anxious or like I have all these huge drama situations in my head that aren't actually real. So this, this mudra, this mantra, this whole thing I'm gonna teach you guys is what I do. It's also what we teach the guys that we work on to do right before they step on the field so that they can just be in their body and put their mental stuff on the side. So what we're gonna practice is connecting our breath to our thoughts and to our body. All right, so starting in this position, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I have our timer. So from here, go ahead and exhale everything out. And then it's in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, good, last one, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, nice job guys, all right, so the second pose is going to be wide V, so all Claire's going to do is just take her feet out wide, now Claire is uh, insanely flexible, so my legs go to like here, and if that's where you are, that's great, so don't push it too far, Claire like doesn't quite have to push it too far, but I'm we're getting our medically checked out. But if this bothers your knees again, what I want you to do, like if you feel any pull or any strain, or even like right up in here, I want you to take, you can take them right again, but you're gonna take a bend through your knees and then same thing, just put your heels in. And you can find whatever position feels comfortable for you. So go ahead like now. But what we're doing is we can't think about things if we're counting, if we're breathing, and if you're actually trying to relax. So as we're finding these poses, what I want you to think about with your stretch is we're getting to our edge, Right, so like this is like max edge for me, right? <laughs> Great. I work my entire life and I'm not anywhere <laughs> close to it. But um, so you want to get to your edge, and then I want you to back off just a little bit because we want to create the space for our bodies so we know where our edge is, but we want to create that safe container so that our bodies trust us, so that we relax and we don't cause any extra trauma or anything. We want it just to be a healing experience. Okay, so eyes closed. And then also if your shoulders are like really tight, you can take them out to the side, whatever feels good. Um, all right, let's start. So exhale everything out. Yeah. Good. And then it's in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. I messed that up. We're starting over. In, We're holding. Two, <laughs> three, four, hold, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, 
four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, nice job, okay, let's take, so we're gonna go all the way over to the left, so just bring that right leg up and over, and then you're gonna find a twist all the way over. Now from here, if you need to, you can use your elbows and scoot your hips up a little bit farther. But then find some place, so we're all gonna be different, we all carry different types of tension in our body, but you can use your elbows to kind of shimmy to find some length in your spine. So Claire, whatever feels good to you. And then taking your arms out wide to a T. So we got a wide T. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more extreme on your neck, I want you to look away from your feet or if it feels better and a little bit more restorative right here, then you're gonna look over. So whatever feels best for you. And then the clock is starting. So inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, last one, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, nice job. All right, so in core engagements, we wanna find that pelvic floor lift, so it's kinda of like a Kegel, but you wanna squeeze and lift up, and then we're gonna lift our legs up and over, and just hit the other side. Good. So same thing as you come into it and you're getting fed up. If it feels like you need to kind of shimmy around, check. Um, I encourage, you know, your neck might feel different. I always encourage to try to do the same stretching on either side. But if you have a lot of neck tension on one side, do whatever feels most intuitive and what feels best. All right, eyes closed. You can also put something over your eyes if you have anything. All right, clock's on. It's in, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, 
three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, two more, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Good job, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna roll back up. So bringing your feet up and then we're just gonna wiggle back. So from here, I want you to find a tabletop to where your feet are flat and then your hips are underneath your knees. So Claire's gonna wiggle back a little bit. Um, there's gonna be some joking with the hair and the, the shirt, so the hair. The hair. <laughs> okay, so um, for our yogi newbies, welcome. Um, but what I want you to think about, so as you're breathing, right? So a lot of times when we take a breath, we get up here. And so this is our shallow breath, right? So when we breathe up here. So what I want you to think about now that we're starting to get familiar with our breath is breathing all the way down the length of your body, right? So women of the diners, we have pelvic bowls. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we have these beautiful bowls in our hips. So what I want you to think about is breathing all the way down and filling that energy up. And then, so we hold it down there. And as you exhale, that's when I like to think of that core engagement. So it's like you're inhaling, you're relaxing, you're opening, holding it there, let that space expand. And as you exhale, that's where we find that pelvic floor lift and we squeeze the air all the way up and out, right? So it's like a visual line of it moving through our bodies. Another way to do that is to purse your throat. So if you've ever seen Star Wars, where he's like, <sighs> <laughs> Luke, do yoga. Um, it's kind of that situation. So you can just kind of purse your throat, but it helps to slow down the flow of air because otherwise, if you breathe too fast, it's going to be right in your chest. Okay. So for this one, we're actually going to have a little bit more of a dynamic movement. But what Claire's going to do is press her feet into the wall and she's going to lift her hips up and it's going to take, yep. So we're going to kind of roll up and down our spine. So as she inhales and then exhales, it's going to take her all the way down. So it's like a little self massage. I love this because I always have, sh okay, so we'll start our clock and I'm gonna keep talking. Yeah. But as you inhale, you don't have to be on the same count as us. Try to do a four count, but you might go higher or lower, whatever feels better. Um, good, nice front clock. But as you're breathing, I want you to think about rooting down and lifting. So we're using our feet, we have that secure point. You can use your elbows too if you need a little bit more support. Good. And then slowly roll it all the way down. Now see if we can breathe through our nose as we do this. Right, so if you're really stuff up, or you're in Arizona, um, we've had to take some allergy medicine since getting here, so understandable. But um, really great practice to really unlock the muscles that connect to our shoulders. I mean, because our neck muscles are really tiny and they hold up our big heads and our long hair and our crown. Yeah. So we need and our crown. <laughs> <laughs> so we need solid neck muscles. Okay, so we're about a minute in, so let's keep breathing. So big inhale takes us up. Good. And then exhale takes us all the way down. Make sure you really press that sacrum, so that low back point. So your sacrum is right here. It's kind of in a diamond shape. Of course, it's a diamond. Um, but it's in a diamond shape and a lot of fascia, so connective tissue will come right there. So if you ever have like a hacky sack, is a really great tool that I like to use. Um, but you can kind of roll around on it or like a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. Those are much more intense, but that's a great way to like self massage and heal yourself, especially when you're traveling and you're on the go. Okay, we got 30 more seconds. Keep breathing, women. Yeah, it's a little glute activator, right? Yeah. Amy's are burning. And it's cool though, because as you're doing this, you can really start to self-assess, right? So 
we actually did a very serious leg workout the other day. So Claire's hamstrings are telling her she needs to do a little bit more work. Okay, one more all the way up. And all the way down. Good job, geeks. Okay, so staying in the same, yeah, we activated. My hammy. <laughs> okay, so staying in the same uh, back position. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider. And now what I want you to think about from here, so bring them down a little bit. So you want your foot to be coming. So thinking 90-90, so it's your hip, your knee, your ankle, and then we're locking the ankle. So what Claire's gonna do for this pose is your measuring point is I want you to drop your knees in together and you wanna go, you don't want it to be super easy for your knees to touch. So if you need to take them a little bit wider, it doesn't need to be a big strain. If you're ever feeling like a pinching or like a serious burning sensation, definitely back off. That is your edge and we're backing off of the edge. Um, but what I want you to do for this pose, so we're gonna be here and as you inhale, we're gonna do this on a four count together. So we're gonna inhale to get really wide. I get shaky on this too. And this, I messed up, I played volleyball in college and so my ankles took a lot of damage. So this is a really great stretch for me and I think it really helps to open up and like, keep those juices flowing through my ankles. Um, and then as you exhale, we're gonna squeeze it in. So you're finding a little bit of stretch right through here. Okay, so this one is gonna heat your hips up. All right, ready? Yay. Yay. <laughs> so we're gonna be on the clock for two minutes. Right? <laughs> so it's in, two, three, four, all the way up. And this one's a little bit faster. And then out, two, three, four, faster movement wise. So in, two, three, so open. Out. <laughs> already shaving here. Three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. So go all the way up and at the fork. There you go. And then out, two, three, four. We got Taylor Gang back here. Yeah. In, two, three, four. And uh, two. This is a good one for you, Sam. Three, four. Yeah, keep it going. So with us practicing on the side because we couldn't fit our mats in here is uh, a Mrs. Sarah Taylor, Taylor <laughs> Gang. And we also have a uh, Christian Yuschek. So we got the whole Niner Gang in here. This is the real quality sign, girl. Cleaning nice and restored. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. The boys come to work. We come to do yoga. <laughs> All right, getting back Ooh. on that breath count. What'd you feel? No, I just like it's hard, right? I'm shaking on the way out. It's hard. Yeah, so that's right, right there. Right there. <laughs> All right, we jiggle, got, jiggle the booty. Oh. Yeah, we got 30 more seconds. So it's in two, three, really reach. And out. two, three, four. In two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. Last one. In, two, three. Really reach and out. Two, three, four. Nice job. Ooh, Ooh. got a little heat going in the yeah. hips. Okay, good. So from here, we're gonna come back to that position where it goes. So straight out from your knees. There you go. And then we're gonna take a figure four position. Now. For some of us, um, our low back and our hips are insanely tight. We're not sure what to do with you. <laughs> so Claire makes this look really easy. So it's not super easy for me. So what I have to do is scoot back a little bit further, but just stay where you are if you're doing frame. Okay. Um, but I like to scoot back even farther, right? And I want it to be really comfortable. Now, your knees, little anatomy lesson, is a hinge joint, right? So hinge joint. So it goes forward and it only goes this way, right? So hinge. Your hip is a ball and socket joint. So it can go in many directions. We like to stretch our hips. We do not stretch our knees. Let's say again, we like to stretch our hips. We do not stretch our knees. So if you feel like you're stretching your knee, you're yeah. not, you're stretching a ligament that's not supposed to stretch. So the chain of whatever's pulling it is either above or below it. So that's what we're doing with this yoga. We're self-assessing our bodies. Okay, so while we're here, when you get near figure four, you might be absolutely hating this pose. It's okay, that just means you need it. Um, just scoot back, find a comfortable spot. And then what I want you to make sure of is that we're not putting our foot directly onto our leg. So the actual ankle point, right? So Claire's like about right here, like a thinner part of our ankle. That's where we wanna be. And then for this foot, I want you to lock your ankle, right? So that means pulling toes up towards the knee. And then 
we're going to have you put your hand just right here. Now, you never want to push on your knee, but I like to kind of think of like a lift and push sensation. And since Claire does have that extra mobility, this can help her to get into it. Okay, so we're going to start the clock and I know we're burning. Um, okay, so as we're here, just feeling what we're feeling. It might be, this is a, yoga is a really great way to introduce safe stressors into our life so that when those real stressors come up, like you're driving and you have some road rage or you're about to step on the field, like one of my favorite, one of my other favorite George Kittle moments is when <laughs> right before the Saints game, right? We remember that play. <laughs> um, but right for the Saints game, right? So right before he goes out and he like drags the entire team. I think there were like 20 people on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Little brother for life. Um, but right before we made that play, he steps on the sideline. He does this activation with his Joker tattoo, does the four count breathing, and then steps out. And so it's like- He knew he was getting the ball. Yeah, he knew he was getting the ball. So it's like, how can you come into the moment for greatness? What's your flow state? So you practice it in safe situations like this. All right, so flow state, one minute. Take Close your seat. Exhale out. Close your eyes. And then it's in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. In. Two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, two more, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, Two, three, four. Okay. All right, so now this is the next pose, y'all. So if you need to kick out for a sec, that's fine. But what I want you to do is Claire's literally gonna just drag her foot all the way over until it comes down, pushing against the baseboard, and then she's planting this foot flat. So there you go. I'm gonna show you guys. So her foot is flat. Now, uh, this is a little bit more intense, right? We feel it more. Now, if you want to, if you're kind of sliding, you can take your left hand and grab it onto your right ankle. And then if you need more sensation, you can gently encourage your right heel up towards your left hip point. And then same thing, you can either have your hand here or I love a big twist away in this. Um, but let's get, yeah. yeah, that feels good, right? So then once again, you have this opportunity, what does your neck need, okay? So we're breathing. Yes. Right down our intercostals, our obliques. Intercostals are great muscles. Anything twisting is really, really great for us because your intercostal muscles are that kind of like cinching sensation. So what it does is it supports your low back, right? So if you have any spinal issues or if you're feeling like just like a lot of, I mean, we all hunch over, right? I do it. That's why I practice yoga because I'm on the computer all the time. But um, those muscles will help to cinch and like give you some length through your spine so that your spine doesn't just compress down. Um, your QL, your quadratus lumborum is on the back too. And that's a really, that could be a lot of what everyone's feeling because your muscles, as they wrap up, they kind of just cinch here. That's and then, me. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people. So like we're saying, yoga is a tool to do self inventory on your body. All right. One minute of breathing. So wherever you are, exhale out. Let's do some big Star Wars breaths, ready? So it's in two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, last one, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, nice job. All right, so we're turning back to figure four. We're gonna do the same setup on the other side. So all she's gonna do is roll up, put her feet there, good. 
So this time we have the right foot anchoring and then the left foot is gonna cross over. If that's not what you did, it does not matter. Yeah. Just do opposite. Yeah. We only got two sides. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so from here, we're checking to make sure that it goes anchor, or your hip is down, then your knee is above your hip, and your ankle's coming straight out, and your toes are pointing up. It's easy to let it go wonky from side to side, so lock it in, ladies. All right, and then from here, we have our ankle point is our connection point. This foot is gonna pull back, and then we're checking on our knees if we need to scoot back more. Every side's gonna be different, so you don't have to feel the same way on both sides. Okay, and then we breathe. So wherever you are, take that big exhale out. Let your eyes come close. And then together it's in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Just see where you can let go of your muscles a little bit more. So in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three. Nice job, all right, roll it over. This is our last active slash painful pose. Okay, I'm gonna come around to Kier's backside. And then, so set it up so we have our right foot or whichever one, our bottom hip is gonna be down onto the mat, pressing down, and then your left foot is flat. She has her right hand onto that left ankle or her knee, whatever feels good, and then you can pull it in and out depending on where you are. Okay. So if you guys can see, so Claire's QL, that muscle we were talking about, it kind of looks like a, like a eraser from like a chalkboard eraser. Um, but it sits right in here and it's a big muscle and it holds a lot of tension. So if you ever are working on something or stretching out your hips, a lot of times this is where the tension is going. Okay, so reaching your arms out, find that length, whatever feels good with the other hand, yeah. All right, where we are, let's exhale out. And then together it's in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, 
three, four, one more. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four. Good job, Mickey. Mm -hmm. All right, so now our final pose, we're gonna do a Shavasana. So we're gonna take um, head towards the wall or just wherever you wanna like kick around, but we'll put your head that way, yeah. Okay, now Shavasana is sometimes the hardest part, the hardest pose, but it can also be, I think it is by far the most important um, because it's when all of the work that we just did, and yes, lay on the floor and breathing with a community of women is work. <laughs> yeah, work today. Um, so if we just get up and we transition out, it's like you opened up yourself to have this very like spiritual and intentful and like meaningful experience and then you just like while you're still open you just go back out and like you pick up your phone and then instead of you holding on to that energy and whatever you're feeling right now it's filled with instagram or like your phone ringing or things or people needing you when really the most important thing for you right now is you and creating that boundary and that self-container for yourself so as you're here we're going to be here for two more minutes so i want you to let your eyes come closed all right and then since uh, my little sister is sitting here, I'm gonna show you guys if you're ever doing this with somebody, a fun little adjustment that you can do on them. But watch this in the rerun because you're in Shavasana right now. You're not supposed to be looking at me. <laughs> Any good. Okay, so from here, all you're doing is laying down. Shavasana really means corpse pose. So it means the death and the release of whatever was before to create space for what is coming new. So it's that whole rebirthing process. All right, we're on the clock. So if you're ever with a partner, though, you want to take your hands, heels of your hands, go right below her collarbone is right here. Put them right there. Don't be creepy and grab her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but for every inhale, so breathe in close. Go ahead. In, two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four. Good. Now for this pose, all I'm going to be doing is pushing on your chest but I just want you guys to have a natural rhythm to your breath. So I'm gonna stop talking and then we're just gonna experience.
your palms together as you exhale, pull that energy down to the heart center. Thank you so much for joining us on our practice today. We are so thankful for y'all, the Niners, Woo-hoo. all the things. So. <laughs> Namaste, ladies.